Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm solving the uh, top color syndrome of 738. It got delayed by one hour, which actually was very nice since it gave me the opportunity to set up the camera. So now it has been started for already two minutes. So let's jump into the problems. Okay, so what we have here with 250. You define a triangle with integer coordinates with given parameter and area within a given bounding box. And perimeter is up to 1000. 1, okay, so there are not that many uh, edges of integer length. I think all edges to have integer length for perimeter to be integer. So, I guess what we can do is iterate over what will be the first edge length, what will be the second edge. So just find all integer length edges when the given bounds and try to combine them. Uh, okay, I have some Formula 1 news open here. Anyway, okay, so why didn't C helper work? Let's open the problem once again. Yeah, I just updated my idea installation, so somehow she helper doesn't work. Should I do something like synchronize? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll figure out why it doesn't work automatically later. Okay, so here uh, what we do is yeah, we generate all edges. Uh, all of which are integer length, which have integer length, I think, yeah. Each coordinate must be vast to one, up to 1000. But perimeter is also up to 1000, so we can find ledges up to perimeter, okay. Where it will be exact. Okay, so if we got an edge, then uh, okay. Okay, here we just. And the test case, or the test case with a thousand. Okay, that's good. And just add new edge. What? Why? Why is it integer? This list of edges. Okay. New edge dx dy len. Okay, and then just let's just see how many we have to make sure that the solution works. And just size. I need to return something. Okay, let's run run it once again. Just return empty array. So we here we see how many edges we have. And the end. Yeah, twelve thousand. So we can square number of them is good. Okay, so if Here it should be also one of us in perimeter. ADX times BDY minus ADY times BDX. Right, 
to edges. Okay. Okay. Should be integer. This is double error in a okay like this okay and here yeah. Okay, we just copy and paste here. We have right area, we have then we return this triangle zero zero AGX AGY BDX BDY. Oh must be between zero and three thousand. Okay, so let's put perimeter, perimeter, perimeter plus, perimeter plus, perimeter plus, perimeter plus. Okay. This should be good. Let's see. Does it work? Okay, true, 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 true. It works half a second to largest case. So yeah, no reason not to submit. Okay, let's just check. That really says correct example in all cases. Correct example, correct example. Correct example, correct example. Okay, one second out of two seems to be good enough. Okay, again, trial edges which are within given that most given perimeter and are integer. Then we just try to combine two of them, and then if area matches, then we check if the third edge forms what we need it gives us also an integer and uh, yeah if it's within the bounds then it's good okay maybe slightly worse this would be one in thousand yeah it still finishes quickly okay i wonder why is it never possible to have area of one okay Shouldn't be possible sometimes, but okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. Our solution seems correct. Let's look at scoreboard. Let's see what we need to do next. Okay, we are even fastest on this problem. Wow. That's surprising. Okay, let me reread it. Maybe I missed some trick. Okay, so perimeter must be perimeter. Can there be two non-integer edges which add to an integer parameter? No, I don't believe it's possible. Yeah, like different square roots are not like independent over Q, I think. So and it's all positive coefficients here, so yeah, doesn't really seem possible. Okay, so with that in mind, let us move to the next. Problem. Yeah, it seems all seems good here. Yeah, the general triangle is controlled by the fact that area is not zero, and uh, yeah, area is not zero. Okay, so then yeah, I'll just check. All edges are nice. Uh, yeah, seems nice. 
Yeah, I could probably use some symmetries to speed it up, but it works in one second anyway, so there is no reason. Okay. Let's move to, I guess there's still no clues which problem of this other two is better to solve now. Yeah, let's go with 500 in this case. Okay, so we have a rectangular array of bulbs, each bulb is on or off, uh, it's 50 by 50, okay. And so in each move, we take a line bulb that is on, it's turned off, and can toggle another lamp to the right or down, and find all winning moves, okay. Okay, this seems to be basically toggling as usual doesn't change anything because if there are let's say we just kind of add one so let's say now the numbers can be more than one so if some number is two it just means kind of we have two independent games and it doesn't change the outcome obviously so yeah so we just need to find the grandy numbers okay this seems to be super straightforward actually Okay, so we need to find the grandi number for a lamp in every position. Okay. Height equals board. Lens into each equals board. Zero lens. Int number equals new int height width. Right or down. Okay, 4 int row equals height minus 1, row moves in 0, minus minus row, column equals width minus 1, minus minus column, half equals new boolean, height plus width plus 5, raise fill half false, row equals row plus one, row less than uh, height, plus plus and row, have number and row call equals true. Okay, have, okay, empty state, no moves means number is zero, right? So we can always go to zero, not toggling. If our intent call equals call plus one, call less than width, plus plus and call, have number row and call equals true, for int i equal zero, plus plus i, if not have i, number row call equals i, uh, break. Okay, and now we just need to find uh, yeah now we just need to find in state how much we need to return number of winning moves okay so state equals zero four Row less than height plus plus row, for and call equal zero, call less than width plus plus call, state, xor equals number row call, oh, if board row charred call equals one. Okay, now. Uh, we redo this stuff to get all possible moves. Okay, and now for I less than high lens plus plus I. Okay. okay. Oh, now we need to count the moves, right? Because we need to count, okay. X 
Close state, Xorning, Vero, Call. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it's pasted to wrong place, right? Okay, this we don't need in this loop. Here we don't need a close state, Xorning, Roll call. And here we just need to copy this. If need equals zero plus plus this. If need equals this plus plus this. If need equals this. Plus plus this. And is equal to zero, and here we just return res, right? So it's kind of simple how to decompose the game into grandi numbers, so standard grandi number computation. Okay, this works. Let's submit. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, correct example true. Okay, so this was pretty straightforward. Okay, it's kind of strange that nobody submitted it before. Yeah, now obviously people are solving it super fast because it's really standard. These people are just struggling with the first problem. Okay, I guess it will always recite in the 900. Most, most likely this round will be decided in the 900. Okay, so what do we do? Let's double check this solution first. Okay, take alternating moves. Turning off means we go to state zero, or if we turn on, we go to the state which is a number of that state. Yeah, find all winning moves. Come up our winning moves. Okay, so here we go to zero, and here we go to this, toggle this, and here we toggle this. <coughs> yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Counting the winning moves. Yeah, here we have half, we fill it. And if then if there is no yeah, find the number the usual way. Yeah. That seems fair. And it should be fast as well, right? It's like fifty times fifty times fifty, yeah. Instant basically. Yeah, let's maybe test on something like many ones, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't know answer. And also one big column, right? This one, two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, let's just test on some vertical ones and horizontal ones. Just to make sure we don't have any out of bounds magic. Because there are 19 winning moves in this scenario. Okay. Why not? And it's encouraging that the answer is the same in both cases. Okay, this seems to have been really straightforward. Okay, let's move on to 900. What if it's really tricky? Yeah. So still, some people opened 900 at least after 250. I'm not sure if in the beginning. No submissions on it. Yeah, Boris opened it. Kevin opened it in the beginning. Yeah, Andrew opened it in the beginning. No submissions. Okay, this probably is not easy. But we have almost an hour, so yeah, I guess we should give it a go. Yeah, let's see what 900 brings for us. Okay, we have a driving a car for our longest straight road segment, and we want to travel given distance and given time. Okay, at integer timestamps, we can increase speed instantly by x meters per second, and this would consume x squared units of fuel. And we can never slow down, so we always okay, and we always uh, 
yeah, but slowing down can probably be reversed kind of by swapping the seconds, right? So if we ever need to slow down, then we can just swap that second to the beginning. Yeah, and then we get the same. And I would guess not if it's slow, slow down to speed we haven't seen before. And then okay, but we cannot slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I guess in those, in this time, I guess we can use say that most this time because we can just stay stationary for some time and that we don't pay anything for it. So we have at most given amount of time and need to travel exactly the given distance. So I guess. Yeah. Basically, if we increase our speed by x in moment of time i, we add i, well, t minus i times x to the total distance, and we need to accumulate the distance, and we pay for that x squared. Yeah. So, yeah, basically we have this multiples of t minus i that we can add, and it costs, so can we just normal dp, or it's too slow? So basically we have given total distance, what is the smallest, and now if we need a moment of time, then we add Oh, I guess we might need f of t here, right? So again, we have our current basically ways to achieve, best ways to achieve uh, given distance, and now a new one gives us multiples of t minus i. Not actually multiples of t minus i are very sparse ones, so maybe it's still fast enough. And Uh, so initially, if yeah, half of them we can just one. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we can. Yeah, t might be small, oh, but then. Anyway, so we have multiples of t minus i, and we need to. Yeah, for every old point, try to add this much. Yeah, but f of t with minimum doesn't exist, right? So. We cannot really do it. Yeah, 50 with minimum doesn't exist, so. Okay, so straightforward solution works in 30,000 to iterate over. Uh, moment of time times 30,000 to iterate over so accumulated data so far times uh, how many times we do so that's kind of an average is log n something log of 30,000 all right so it's n squared log n which is probably too slow so we need to do something like n squared somehow Okay, and what can we do some? Uh, no, mm, no, uh, but no. Yeah, maybe you can do some pre computations actually, because yeah, in general, we don't really. And if we compute, as we do this computation, if we go from the end, then we compute all answers for all cases. Yeah, but it's not clear how to. Okay, let's implement the stupid one and see how long it takes. Is there a max next? No? Okay, let's add the max next. Total time 30,000, distance 30,000. I have no idea what the answer is. Probably one or something like this. 
Okay, so here we do best equals new int distance plus one static file int inf equals integer max value. Okay, if we ask to return int, probably the answer never exceeds int. Okay, erase field best inf. Uh, e in best zero equals zero and remain equals zero one remain less than equal to front time so we add multiples of remain for int x equals zero remain times x means less than equal distance plus plus x and oh, no, probably we should iterate here for int old equal zero yeah probably faster to do it in the reverse order old less than okay here we have i guess we can just go from the end distance old less than zero minus minus old Got equals best dot if got equals to inf continue. Here we get test equals old. Okay. Old plus remain. Best test plus equals. Uh, uh, remain okay here we increment both of them so here we get if got score equals got plus one and here score plus inc okay Dest equals old plus remain. Here we get dest plus equals remain. Score plus equals two times x plus one, right? Yep. So here if score less than best dest, best dest equals score. And here we do return best distance. Okay. Okay, it works correctly, and it takes actually some time, even with small test. Okay, I wonder why. Okay, 19, right? First argument is total time. I guess it's the slower part, okay, but 19 seconds was a big case as well, right? Because it doesn't really change much. Okay. Let's remove failure and integer overflow to get a better estimate of the time. Okay, so we need to speed up the solution somehow. Okay, so the idea, I guess, would be that we can run it and somehow remember that yeah I don't know some updates are not useful or something like this okay actually now it's like 10 seconds so it's that yeah, I just need some speed up if you run it in the other order then we are kind of solving all test cases. So this is nice because it allows us to make some speed ups which apply to all test cases. So maybe we should just can use some pre-computation to uh, remove iterations which are not useful. Yeah, in general, doing many repetitions is not useful usually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
max sublink of x max sumt okay let's see maybe we can see that actually we don't get much updates and just remember okay that's easy so basically any moves after three we always make more than most one if max up more than one and remain more than two so new one time exception okay this would be easy so it means that there are no basically updates after some time and this solves all cases right because remain there is a total time and then update for all distances the solutions so if it never happens okay here we can do if x equals one and remain more than two break right. this doesn't change the answers and it should work fast i hope wait what answer changed it works fast but answer changed too right? All oh, right, I was stupid, of course. Yeah, max out. Uh, uh, yeah, this was too easy. <laughs> I forgot to take max out. Here we should take mass max. Max out, max. Okay, like this. Okay, let's just do one test for now. None, and then we run only this test. Okay. So, will it be always like many updates? Yeah, let's see that. Yeah, still for many of them. Yeah, but it doesn't really help that much, right? So, yeah, for example, when it stopped. Okay, we can compute, right? Sum plus equals max out. So, what is the sum of those numbers? If it's uh, times 37, is nice. Yeah, 90,000, so it's three times. Yeah, still should be fine, right? So we can do this, and then we can also remember the states after some values of remain we can i think get a few 30,000 arrays in the source probably yeah i think it's doable okay probably there's a better solution but this way differently works okay so let's just do Okay. 
So here we get for all remains uh, the maximum update. Yeah, just basically we have this one TP run that we need to squeeze in time, so I will just try to notice places where it doesn't do anything and speed it up. Okay. need to check distance because otherwise it will be another probably we need. Yeah. Must still be out of bounds exception now. Call to large. Okay. We need to deal with this stuff. Okay first. Yeah this we need to change. Okay we need to compress Okay, let's do turn this stuff. Okay. Zero, yeah, probably we can have some code size problems with this solution. Okay, I don't know what to do. Are, the, are people solving it quickly? No, okay, interesting. Values, yeah, so this should definitely be fast. Okay. Okay, this is the same but faster, hopefully. Doesn't try to do unsuccessful updates. So how fast it is, I wonder. Five seconds, okay, let's run the system. Yeah. 
Okay, so we are 50, okay, let's see how long does 50 take on my machine, so to know how to speed it up. So it was one and a half seconds of the machine. And two. And full solution is five, right? So probably need to speed up like two times essentially. So C seems to be a reasonable way to speed this up two times. So let's just do that. Yeah, other than that we can try to record the answer so but they will be all different so it's not not compressible nicely okay let's tra translate this in C first maybe it will be already good enough Now there is a car heart. Heart. Okay. Okay, so C plus plus solution. Yeah, it doesn't have main. Okay, standard C plus plus. Maximum text take uh, three three seconds. Okay, a bit too slow. Uh, okay, so what do we do here? that magic so yeah but probably doesn't help because money of the, most of the time is spent in iterations whereas it's less than four iterations of this loop
reverse in this loop does it help a uh, bit but not really i'm not sure if it's correct this way oh okay so what do we do what can we do to speed it up a bit more just 2x we can record what are the values of this after some time Maybe thinking would be a better strategy than just trying blindly to, to speed it up. Yeah, but it's so close. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see where where is the middle. Okay, this will still hopefully be. Five ish seconds, hopefully, it doesn't add any overhead. Mia. Okay, we can just compress it. The answer is always small. Okay. second and then it's fine okay this is strange but it works okay so here This won't give us everything, I think. Just save every second. What is the value of the DP? 
Okay, that's a creative solution. Probably there is much easier one, but it will do. Right. Okay, in the beginning there are many different values. Okay. Maybe that's too much. Okay. Let's do every couple seconds. Every second and a half. So that's only less lines here. And really like 60,000 lines. Probably something will go wrong. Now it's 30,000 lines. Okay, I guess let's restore to the old one. Just one. Just one should be enough, right? Yeah, okay. Probably there is a better solution, but this will do, I think. Yeah. Okay, but I need to test it, right? Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can test it. You know, it should fit in time. Yeah. And now the other point is three one nine one. Make sure we don't screw this up. This seems to be good enough. This 
Schön Gift. If I do this, this should give two. Okay, this seems good. What? Where is an used card? No, I don't have any unused card. It's only used. Use M. Yeah, I don't, didn't get many points, but didn't have to think, so there are some benefits to this. Oh wait, 16.35 for which in this case? In this case number 3. I don't like this number. Is it so unstable? Now it's one second. I guess here it doesn't seem to be so unstable as to cause any issues. 1.5 seconds. Okay, 1.5 seconds should be enough, hopefully. Okay, and now it's, okay, hopefully they have this system where they rerun the programs. Okay, so where do I now find myself in the world settings? Yeah. Thinking might have been worked better, might have worked better, yeah. Just blindly optimizing 2x, of course, it was successful, but maybe, just maybe, thinking would be nice. Yeah, I guess I can just kind of bump together values with a cool number, something like this. Yeah. Could have dealt with it somehow, okay. Dealt with it somehow, okay. Anyway, this is fine, but of course, yeah, to first place I need enormous amount of changes. So I guess unless Gennady has something wrong, he'll be clear winner. Okay, let's still make sure I return the correct answers. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, and my okay, let's just do. Here we do just the same with best 2 without any magic. Okay, and here we get the same.
way. We run the same thing in this two. Yeah, hopefully it will verify that we, everything we compute is correct. Seems so, okay, let's check that it works. So if I change here, okay, change the magical value, then it should fail. Yep. Okay, this works. Okay, let's check before that point also matches, hopefully. Yeah, everything seems to match. Okay, I guess the question is, yeah. Hopefully this will pass. I guess the question now is, yeah, sorry, I probably was not speaking very clearly during this uh, round. Just a bit too concentrated on the problem, I guess. So here, yeah, I guess I can try to get second place, but in this format. Yeah, let's take a step back. There is this new SRM format where they all count for TC 19 qualifications. So first place get five points, second to tenth place get four points, and 11 to 12 get 3 points, the rest get 2 points, so basically 2nd and 4th place don't really differ because of the different terms of rating, but you know, rating is not so important and in general and also the brain tends to pick a, like a single, uh, single goal so single goal of uh, yeah, getting those TCO points seems to be somehow more important than rating or uh, any other, well, I guess another goal would be just to get first place, but then it's in line with the, the first one. <laughs> so, yeah, to get to first place, I need really lots of challenges. Yeah. This is interesting. This is interesting. Yeah. Okay, so... This seems to be returning good numbers. Okay, we can test again. And distance is one, let's say. Like this, gives two. Like this, gives one, yeah. Yeah, I guess this third example is pretty reasonable. Okay, in the second solution I didn't have one of the speed up. And I think that produces the same numbers, yeah, so it should be fine, right? Unless there's a bug here. This not very improved version. Yeah, kind of most straightforward. So we give x times remain. If we speed up by x, when there's remain time left, and say we get x penalty for that. Yeah. Oh, 
here, I guess we should say if test wasn't such as I wasn't break. Yeah, a bit more straightforward. Yeah, but should be the same, right? So looks like if I can probably then Turkey. Okay, okay yeah. this is good. Okay, this problem is good. This problem is obvious, kind of. Shouldn't have no issues. This problem again seems to fit into time limit basically. Yeah. Perimeter thousand area. What is the smallest area? I wonder with perimeter thousand. Yeah. Guess we definitely can get three, four, five. Uh, Twelve times eight is. 96, so 960, and area would be here 3 times 4 divided by 2, 6 by 8, uh, 48 squared. Okay, this is definitely possible. Wait, what? Uh, 48 squared. Okay, so again times 4 times 8 80 divided by 2 so that would be 6 times 80 times 80 okay I'm too slow 6 times 80 times 80 is this one Okay. Yeah, this gives one of the sides is four hundred. Okay, it managed to achieve it with something else. But okay. Yeah, the time it takes is not very. Yeah, about seven seconds it seems. Yeah, there's no really way, there's no way to get so many ways to get from integer segments, so this one should be good. Okay, let's assume we have everything right, but still, how do we challenge here? Oh, somebody overtaken. Scott, who is really high score, 900. Yeah, probably it's, if I apply it a little more thinking, probably there is some stupid optimization that can get the job done without all these hacks. Yeah, this is probably not the wisest move. At least in creative in a different way in spirit. So at least that is satisfying, I think. But yeah, look at his story score on 500. It really shows the true difficulty of this problem. Okay. Guess I'm still only. One challenge. Oh, and here goes resubmit from Scott Woggy. So it was not so nice. Neil was in my room and submits 900. He probably tested. So yeah. 
Okay, so what do we have in terms of challenges here? Okay, usually my trick is to sort by rating. So I guess many 250s, what can go wrong in that problem? Yeah, just time out. In a case where sites have to be big. So what I can do, I can try to find the largest case, which is has a non-zero answer. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so... If a land plus b land plus land less than thousand. Okay, is this we comment out? Is this we comment out? Here we go, if a land plus b land plus land more than max perimeter, max perimeter equals a land plus b land plus land, mean area equals integer max value, max area equals integer mean value. Now if a land plus b land plus I should be size and variable equals to max perimeter. Then max area equals mass max max area r mean area equals mass mean mean area r okay, here it must be if r person two not equal to zero continue okay and here max perimeter mean area max area Here we can do on the last case to see basically all that we got here. Oh no, no, zero doesn't work. Zero, of course, is a nice way to get triangles, which are all integer, but no. Let's say we want non zero. Okay, so for 1000, apparently 96, okay, mess ups, mess ups, okay, so for 1000, it's a valid Oh. Sorry, forty eight thousand. Yeah. So this seems to be a valid case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. Also, yeah, maybe some perimeter. Yeah, but that's really okay. Let's look at only area one triangles. Are there two triangles? Probably there are none, right? Yeah, most likely there are none. Yeah. Okay. Area at most 100. Any cases like this? Yeah, but I guess it doesn't really change anything. No. No such small case. <laughs> Most 
hundred, but not zero. Okay, so what we have here? There are some cases. Yeah, with small perimeter. Okay, but not the most thousand. Yeah, apparently if perimeter is large. Okay, so thousand perimeter, forty-eight or forty-eight thousand area. Other cases which are nice. Yeah, and then three three six area and three nine two perimeter. Okay. I guess yeah, challenge and second problem. I mean what can what else can you implement? Even though it's for two hundred. Yeah, let's try to see. Second problem, I guess. And if I make this mark, does it pass samples? I wonder if I make this pass samples, it does. Okay, this can be a bug. This is one, two, three, four, five, ten. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, let's just run this test. Okay, so here. Yeah. No bug. Okay, nobody has this bug. Okay, and Neil is very quickly finding some bugs in all submissions. Okay, I guess he's better than me. And this. Uh, okay. Okay, here he builds so. all. Numbers mm, yeah, I guess this is true, right? So one corner will always be Yeah, it's always possible to find one corner which is maximum on two coordinates. Yeah, this looks correct. Yeah. Changes were there but where to find them? Not obvious. Okay, so here. This didn't challenge me yet. <laughs> okay. So, um, the solution seems to be doing. Okay, find all. All of given lands. Check area. Mm 
Okay, here if area is right and perimeter is right, no perimeter is not right, so we just have, alright, yes, perimeter is right, yeah, if the size, okay, this is good, yeah, this is all good. I'm looking at the correct solutions after Neil made a quick pass. Okay, so here. No, zero, zero, I want X, I two X, two years, good. Okay, all seems too correct here. Okay, so inches up to 500 is also correct because you cannot have perimeter 1000 with bigger edges. Okay. It's 500 times 500 times 500. Yeah, we'll be here on it. Okay. Okay. Okay, at least for this we could try to challenge. No, but it passed. Oh, no, what is it? Area has few divisors, maybe if area has more divisors, times out. Yeah, most likely not. What, what am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Okay. Here. Okay, so here we iterate. Then trade over one side, and then one coordinate, I assume. Then we get the second one. Yeah. Okay, some cases I could check it, but come on. Oh, this is okay, two times area divided by bound. Wait, what is this magic? What is this magic? So it always returns triangles with one of the sides parallel to axis. Is this true? And if yes, why? We can check. Okay, probably he checked, of course. Okay, we'll only run this case.
whether those two are really the same. Most likely, yes. Yes, you. No, it's not the same. Okay. This was pretty bad. If I fell out of top 10, this was really bad. Okay, I didn't. Okay, fell. Falling out of top 10 is hard here, but why is it not? It only ever returns things with one side parallel to coordinate axis. This is not correct. But getting minus twenty five was not necessary, okay. This should be good. Okay, let's double check that nobody else has this bug. I so probably would have noticed. Yeah. Okay, let's look at hard problems now. Maybe there is something useful there. Yeah, I guess we're ready to solution to this first right it just remembers <coughs> yeah, obviously it just remembers groups together and then it's fine, yeah. Yeah, also some ideas like mine, just small speed ups. Okay.
a something correct looking for all of them. Okay, some debugging, some DP. Okay, this looks weird. But I guess one challenge will not give me much. Well, I guess it will if Gennady has a bug, but then I lose a lot of places. So they don't matter those places, right? <laughs> Hard to make a random challenge in this situation, of course. This was suspicious, right? Yeah, no, this was not suspicious. Yes, this one is the most suspicious, but it's probably well tested. Okay, yeah, I guess I don't know what to do. Probably blind challenge won't give me much. So, yeah, and anyway, probably. Gennady is everything is correct, most likely. Looks to gain a couple places. Okay, so thanks. Yeah, sorry again, I was mostly talking to myself, not to the camera. So, solved some problems, got one successful challenge, got stupid minus 25, without which I would be second now. Go to divide by two. Yes, it was pretty stupid. Okay. Yeah. Could have done better. Okay, so let's wait for results a bit. If not, it's not probably on the stream now. Well, on the stream and the recording now. Yeah, to recap, there were three problems. 250. About this integer. So, integer sided triangles, so which we'll generate all integer size and combine them in all ways. 500, like extremely typical Grandi number problem with this idea that uh, basically when two problem, two identical sub problems cancel itself out in this uh, number like games. So toggling 0, 1 to 0 can be replaced by replacing 1 with 2 and then all games split into independent sound games and it's all straightforward. Finally, hard problem, you need to speed up some straightforward and squared log and dp for 30,000. There were... the dp itself was only a few times too slow, so... instead of thinking, I decided to make mechanical speed ups, which is just kind of making some loops terminate earlier because there's only one test case really so I know where the DP should terminate for each, where each loop should terminate where it stops affecting the answer and it was still a bit two times slower so after that I did a speed up where I just splits the outside loop into two parts and dumps the state of the system between the parts it turns out it's also quite compressible so my source size is still small yeah and then now it runs hopefully in time well it was 1.5 on the worst guaranteed worst case so unless they have this variant that is this big it should pass so yeah that's the story we can look at what can i did hopefully nothing of this sort yeah so he starts with greedy okay i don't see any any speed ups? Oh, this is a speed up. So greedy answer gave him some answer, and now it stops as soon as the answer he gets is too big. Yeah, it's pretty clever. That's another way to get the speed up. Uh, yeah, I guess he went the same path, so he just did one solution, found that needs to be a bit faster, and implemented the speed up. Okay, we all have weird tricks here, but ultimately. All have the same approach, so just yeah, just speed it up empirically, basically just try on 
see what happens in real cases because there's only one case. He somehow cannot look at my own code. I wonder was it always like this? Okay, I just cannot look at any code. Maybe Arena is down again. Also don't see any messages. Which is not very reassuring. But it could be actually hanging while well, switching state from system testing to contest complete. That would be a positive way of looking at the current situation. Um, yeah. So yeah, things I guess doesn't seem to be resolving. Maybe let's wait for a minute. Let's see if I can talk about something for a minute. <laughs> so yeah, it's a problem. So at least I could find a way to get creative in the hard problem. Maybe it was not supposed. The first two are kind of straightforward, at least is uh, my experience and yeah actually many people even like targets like Bruce or Makoto could not solve three problems so I guess it all worked out differently for people yeah so Arena is down it's a pity but maybe we can reconnect and we'll be, we'll be fine or maybe not. So let's wait until it says that connection has been lost. Try to reconnect. And if not, we'll end the stream at that and then uh, the results you can look up on the website. Mm, yeah, all this magic. Yeah, challenging was not perfect. So yeah, I already ran into the fact that this area needs to be divided by two. But of course, I forgot about it. Yes, so here, actually I wonder, so does it actually change the answer, <laughs> this test case I was preparing, does it really change the answer, 1777, if I remove this, probably there are positions where two moves get to the same number, oh, but to this number, yeah, so this actually changes, so if somebody had this bug, this would be a good challenge. Oh, I got reconnected automatically. I didn't even have to re log out. So, status. Yeah, I think this usually precedes contest complete. So, hopefully, we'll see the results now. Can I look at my solution? Yeah. One hard coded matrix, second hard coded vector, second hard coded vector. And just wait forward solution. I guess in Gennady's optimization it's not so, of course, probably correct, but it's not so obvious because he doesn't have a single test case because he bounced by greedy and greedy depends on concrete inputs. So in my case, really split it up in a way that there is only a single, single test case. Okay, what? let's see what others do. So this, uh, how do. Okay, also, <laughs> if total time was on 3000. Yeah, the second case, I guess, his claims that we only ever use. Okay, this is some heuristic fault to solve large cases. So nice. What about Alex? Okay. Similar, just solve all cases more than 400 with some stupid greedy. This is Radilush. Everybody has a different speed up. Okay, if n total time is more than 50, then there is some solution. Okay, again, some simplified solution for that case. Okay. Um, yeah, again, so if total time is more than square root, then there is some stupid heuristic. Yeah, we basically never take need to take tools. Okay, fair enough. Here, hmm, no speed up so far. Okay. 
All this speed up, so d divides by t and we only go up to, okay. Yeah, also, just different ways to speed up this stuff, it's kind of cool. Everybody has a different idea so far, I don't think we've seen two equal ideas, two equivalent ideas. Yeah, actually this one seems similar to previous one, so in some way bound. The so number of times we take each number, yeah, this seems to be similar, all the same as previous. Okay, so just contest complete, but still no results. I guess, yeah, we've already checked 9, please, okay, let's check the 10th, please, speed up. Okay, so this, no pre-calc, naive, greedy, okay, there's greedy, and the naive bounds on greedy, yeah, so basically it is, uh, wait, what? Where is, oh yeah, this is bound, okay, so the same, same as Gennady speed up. Okay, a few different, well, a lot of different ways to <laughs> speed up this, like, three times slower DP to run in time. Still no results, so... So what else can I tell about this round? Um, yeah, I don't know, 500 seemed a bit out of place, it's kind of on the way, way too standard uh, gradation in my, in my mind. Just, um, yeah, we've had this idea over and over and over again many times now. And the problem didn't really add anything, so you didn't have to reduce the problem or something, just kind of, it is there. So, yeah, I guess my chances are yeah, not very high. And, yeah, 5,495. Okay, so if you sort by problem, yeah, yeah, I have the fastest. Easy. I wonder if it's possible to find the stats on the number of fastest submissions for every problem on top coder website. Top coder record book. Let's see. Yeah. So how is my average going? Uh, I think it was something like 0.5 for some time. Yeah, 0.6 now, so I think it's kind of trending upwards, but still if you saw by this, there are some people from old times who are really, really strong in averages. I guess competition was lower, at least that's, that's an excuse that I can come up with now, but I guess in today's round the competition is also quite lower. Quite a bit lower, okay, still don't know results, what's going on? What's going on? Why don't they show results? Maybe I just don't see them myself. Okay, let's try to log out and in again. <laughs> yep. Oh, actually, they're showing results now, and well, there was no chance to overtake because Gennadius didn't fail, so I guess. Hopefully, well, I got my four points, but not. Yeah, to get five, I need to come up with a simpler speed up instead of mechanical one. So it's a risk, I guess, to try to come up with a speed up. So how many challenges did I have available in my room? Yeah, only one. Actually, yeah, this is the one I was going to challenge blindly, but of course, blind could would have not worked, and yeah, so I guess my real chance would be if Neil was not in my room and I could find all the bad solutions he found. Then, like, I stood a chance here because he found four, I think, so plus 200 gives me enough points, but yeah, it's very far-fetched. Somebody else could find some of those, so I guess the contest was lost when losing points on the, on the hardest problem. 
still I continue with 12 points in this algorithm leaderboard. Uh, where is it again? TCL19 algorithm leaderboard. Is it? Yeah. Google knows everything about Top Coder website, luckily. So here, six people with eight. Now can I get ahead with 13? And then uh, you how still has 12, I have 12, Omnic has 12. I think Snooki and Makota are not in top 10. Yeah, Makota is in top 20, so he's minus one point, and Snooki... Yeah, just two points, so he got minus two. So, um, three people share in second place, and Gennady in the lead. So it looks like, uh, kind of as expected, in order to qualify to C19 with the system, one needs to win maybe one or two SRMs and always place in top 10 and the rest of them. Okay, thanks all for watching, and see you next time.